He has six sides of doom. Hey, what's up, my peoples? Mgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the McFans Toys Six Ninja. So here we are, and there he is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So right up front here, yeah, we have Six Ninja. His name is Six Ninja. On this side of the box, Six Ninja. On the other side of the box, Six Ninja. On the top, Six Ninja. Bottom things and stuff that I cannot read on the back of the box. We have your obligatory product shots and all of his most bloody, bloody, bloody. And that's basically it for the packaging. And moving right along, here we have Six Ninja, aka Six Shot. And uh, yeah, this is a knockoff of the uh, Iron Factory Six Shots. Um, but yeah, it's a pretty, uh, pretty cool figure. I do quite dig it. So. Here is Six Shot in his gun mode, and um, I've seen this gun mode oriented pretty much every way there is to orient this, with this side turned around like that, and like this, with the arms this way, with the wheels out, with the wheels in, so, you know, at this point I don't even know <laughs> which is the official way, because the pictures on the instructions are different than the pictures on the box, so I'm not even sure exactly how to correctly orient the gun mode, but hey, do whatever you want. At the end of the day, it's still six shot just lying on his back, so. <laughs> the gun mode was never fantastic anyway, so it doesn't really matter how you orient it. It's still just going to look like six shot laying on his back, but yeah, there's the gun mode. You can see it's actually a pretty decent sized little gun mode. I mean, for my little girl hands anyway, it actually works. And for comparison, here it is with the McFans Toys Shockwave. As you can see, they scale in their gun modes. But yeah, pretty nice. Pew, pew, bang, bang. Pew, pew, bang, bang. Not too shabby. But yeah, we're going to go through all these transformations here. We're not going to do a bunch of comparisons here. Uh, we're just going to go through all the modes and get through this. We'll do the majority of the comparisons at the end here. So yeah, there's the gun mode and that's pretty much it. It's not a great gun mode, but it's a gun because, hey, you know, they say it is, but you know. <laughs> let's get down to transformation, shall we? Let's, uh, let us just remove these guns here. Put them off to the side, and the first mode we will go into will be the wolf mode. So to get into wolf mode, we have to open up these panels right here. We do have to do some parts forming. We do have to remove these guns. They just peg in in here. You do have to remove those and put them off to the side for now. And opening this will allow you to take the legs and bend them down. Because you can see here, there's this tab that will tab in right here and actually locks that joint. So you have to make sure that stays open. So you can bring those down, then you can close those up, split the legs, and we do want to rotate the waist around, bring down the paws here, take these sections here and just bring them down all the way so they sit all nice and flush. Then we just take the shoulders. The shoulders are on a uh, rocking hinge right here. And you want to turn the wheel in right here. And just so you can see, there you go, this little T-shaped piece right here. You want to make sure this T-shaped piece is facing up. So you want to rotate this all the way up here, like that, for wolf mode. So you want it oriented as such. So now you can bring the arm down, rotate it at the bicep, flip out the paw. We have one side all done, second vest, much like the first. Just rotate that wheel around, take that shoulder hinge, and just rotate that up. Again, so that T piece is right there. Then you just swing this around, bring that up, split the wings here, bring them back, flip forward the wolf head, and there you have. The wolf mode and you know it's it's the six shot wolf mode again nothing great but hey sure why not why not <laughs> it is what it is there's the little wolf head red eyes uh, you can open the mouth although the mouth is on a very tight hinge but uh, the mouth 
does open, head can move up and down on two hinges there. You got the rotation, you have a little bit of outward movement. Rotation there, bends, paws, can move up and down. Paws are done in a nice silver. And the legs have all the articulation of the robot mode legs, since they are the robot mode legs. So, you know, you get multiple hinges there to work with. Can move the paws up and down. All that good stuff. And if you want, you can take the uh, main guns here, and it helps if you plug them in with the handle facing up. Because it gives you some more room there. And you can plug them into the sides, like so. So the wolf can pew pew, bang bang. Uh, the double barreled guns, um, they don't fit. They don't fit here. And they don't fit into these side ports here on the legs. Like they're just a little too big, it seems like. They just don't, they don't, they don't want to fit. They, they don't want to fit. So I guess you just have to leave these off to the side, but you can plug at least those guns on if you want to for the wolf mode. So that's pretty much it for the wolf mode. So now we will move on to the tank mode. So to get in tank mode, you just take the paws, just flip them in, rotate the form around so the tank treads are facing out. Just bring that down, rotate this down, rotate, bring it down, rotate. Take the wolf head and just flip that back. Take the wings and just bring them down flat against the body like so. And now we have to open up the legs, open up the legs. Now we have to take these guns and plug them back in like so. And close this up. Again, you want to make sure that that tab goes into that slot right there to lock that joint into place. Plug the other gun in. Plug it in, plug it in. Plug it in, plug it in. Let's get that done. You want to bend the knee at this joint. It's on a double hinge here, so you want to bend it at the bottom joint there. So bring that all the way down like so. And you can tab that together. Just flip the toes in and then just bring all this up like so and then the last thing you do is we bring in the guns and just plug them into the sides like so and there you have the tank mode not much to it again it's the typical six shot tank mode kind of weird but hey it's it's a tank mode it's 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 a tank mode <laughs> It is what it is. So, there you have that. So now let's move on to the armored car mode. So now we will move the guns, put them off to the side, bring this down, open this up because now we need to remove the guns again. Remove the gun. Remove the gun. And we'll just leave this open for now. Uh, what you want to do with the arms is you do want to rotate this uh, shoulder hinge again so that this T-piece is now up top. And on mine, this side is really tight, especially when you get to the top here. Uh, there we go. There we go. So you can see, so now that T-shaped piece is right up top here. And that's how you want that oriented. So, rotate the wheels out, like so. Same thing on the other side, just rotate the wheels out. Rotate that shoulder hinge here. This side works so much better, don't know why. But the other side likes to fight me. There you go. So you got that like that. And then just kind of bring the arms out to the side so you have some clearance here. Just tab the legs together and just fold them in like so, and then you can just close that up like that, bring these down flat. You can also flip out these little panels here just to kind of fill things in a bit. And as you can see, as is, the wheels are nowhere near touching the ground. What you do is you take this whole lower body assembly and this will slide up like that. So now the wheels will actually touch the ground and there you have 
a car mode. And again, it's six shot, so it's a weird looking car mode, but hey, it rolls. Rolls as rolling things should. And it's a weird looking little car. <laughs> and again, you can take the guns. The guns can plug right off top. So can pew pew bang bang, pew pew bang bang. And yeah. Yeah. <laughs> there is the car mode. So moving on to jet mode. You just take these sections here, bring them in. They will tap together right here in the middle, like so. Like that. And then you just flip it around. You bring the wings out. You take the arms, bring them around. Rotate that section in, rotate this section out. Bring them around, rotate in, rotate out. Bring out the fins there. And the last thing we do is bring in the guns and you have tabs on the wingtips that will go into these slots right here on the sides of the guns, like so. And like so. And oops, hey, hey, you stay, you stay, thank you, thank you. Now if you want, you can leave these little bits flipped out. If you think that looks better, or you can fold them in, totally up to you. As always, your toy, display it however you wish. But there you have the jet mode. And again, it's, you know, not the best. You just got this huge chunk of stuff right here in the bottom. And granted, since this is supposed to be the cockpit, it is completely obstructed. So, if there was a pilot in there, he would not be able to see where he's going. He would just have to trust that he's not about to fly into the side of a mountain. But hey, you know, it's all right. <laughs> it's all right. But yeah. There you have the jet mode. And last but not least, get down to robot mode. So, remove the guns. And just take the section here. Untab, bring them out to the side. Open up the legs. Open. And bring them down. You do have little heel spurs here that you flip out. And close that up again. Make sure that tab and that slot are lined up. Flip out the heel. Close that up, split the legs, and oh, flip down his toes, and there you got the lower body all done. Then moving on to the upper body. You just get the wings out of the way here, and then you just, uh, you want to rotate this whole shoulder assembly again, so now the T-shaped piece is on the bottom. So we have to rotate all this around, which again, this side is really tight on mine. Get, 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 there we go. So now you can see that T-shaped piece is right there. That's where you want that. And then just rotate that out. You want to open up this little panel right here, straighten out the paw. That will allow you to flip out the hand, close that up, rotate. You have proper orientation there for your elbow. Now you got that side all done. Second verse, just like the first. So just rotate that whole shoulder assembly around. Bring that out. Open this up. Flip out the hands. Close. Rotate. There you got that. And then we just pull on the wolf head here, which will open up this section. Flip out the head. And close it back up, bring that down, take the wings, bring them back and up. And there you have Six Shot in his robot mode. And he's a cool looking Six Shot. He's kind of a kind of beefy, kind of chunky Six Shot, but um, I do quite dig the design for him. So let's get in close here, not on his chest, on his noggin. There it is. Looks like pretty nicely done head sculpt. Red for the eyes there. You get some nice gunmetal gray here on the chest. You get some silver and purple there. In those sections, more that gunmetal gray. You get some silver there. 
And the tank treads are done in that gunmetal gray as well. Some more gunmetal gray. You get some red. You get some silver. Get some nice shades of purple going on. In the back. Let's see. Pretty neat all around. Now, articulation wise, he had is on a ball joint. So you got your wiggly, waggly, wiggly, waggly. Can look up a little bit, look down a little bit. Can do a full 360. Uh, shoulders can do a full 360. Can go in and out. You have bicep rotation. You have full range of movement there on that elbow, which is quite nice. Uh, nothing at the wrist. Uh, you do have a waist joint. Oh, one thing I forgot to do is take his waist and uh, shift it back forward to where it was because that's the uh the car mode configuration you want to bring it back to the forefront like so but anyway we have waist rotation that legs can go forward that far can go back that far outward can do the full splits you got thigh rotation you have full range of movement there at the knee uh this piece is supposed to kind of move with it to kind of fill in the knee but that's <laughs> that hinge is a little snug but as you can see you get full range of movement there at the knee and you just get the toes that move up and down due to transformation so pretty poseable now as far as the weaponry goes of course you can have six shot holding his two guns and he does hold those Nice and secure legs. You can pew pew bang bang, pew pew bang bang. And if you don't want them holding the guns, you can just store them back here on the wings. If you wish. Totally up to you. It's a thing you can do if you want to do it. And he does also include two swords. Which are done in a nice silver. The handles are just done in black. Um, if you don't want them holding the swords, you can store them. There are tabs, angled tabs right here, that go into the slots in his hips. So you can just take them and just store them at his sides like so. If you want. It's a thing you can do, which is quite cool in my opinion. Or of course you can just have him, whoops, or you can just have him wielding his swords as he flings his other weapons off of him. It's not what he was supposed to do. Not, not what he was supposed to do. Let me take this off anyway. But you can give him his two swords as well, if you wish. And again, I, 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 I don't know, I don't know what to do with these because, you know, they don't, they don't fit here. They don't fit in these ports. Um, and the thing is, they don't, um, they're, they're too long. If you plug them back in here, you can see the barrels are actually too long for these to flip up all the way, as you can see. So once you do that, you can't actually, you can kind of close up the leg, but you're kind of bending some stuff around and that's, and it doesn't, it doesn't feel good because you can just feel that plastic just kind of being bent in there as you close it up. So I wouldn't recommend that. You could do that if you want to, but I wouldn't recommend it because you're going to end up just messing up, you know, those gun barrels because you're going to be flexing them out of shape. But, you know, hey, me personally, I prefer to just leave them off. But, hey, your toy, do what you want with it. But there you have that. And one last thing that is included with this figure is uh, you get... This little uh, container pod thing. Um, now, uh, Six Shot here does not come with one of those little Diclone mechs like their Shockwave did. Um, this is literally just the, uh, it's just the, the empty container pod thing that you put the mech into. So, that's a thing that's in the box. Because reasons? I don't know. There you go. Let's throw these guns in there. There you go. <laughs> Woo! Use it as a rattle. You have a rattle now. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. They threw it in the box. Serves no real purpose, but hey, it's in the box. So there you go. Anyway, so there you have that. And now for comparison, here he is with the McFans Toys Shockwave. Here he is with the McFans Toys Megatron. 
Here he is with the McFans Toys Ultra Magnus. I think they look good together. Uh, here he is with the McFans Toys Dinobots. Just so you can see how he scales with them. So, I got that. Here he is with Power of the Primes Deluxe Ripper Snapper. So you can see he's he's slightly, like slightly taller than the current deluxes. So he's a nice deluxe size, which I do quite like. And with some other six shots, here he is with the Mastermind Creations six shots. There he is with the Titans Return, six shots, and here he is with G1 six shot because it's pressure, six shooting pressure. So there you have Mech Fans Toys 6 Ninja. Um, you know, a, a very nicely done figure. It's a nice deluxe sized six shot, and uh, I, I think it's really cool. Granted, the alt modes aren't great, but then again, six shots alt modes have never been great, so you know, it's just kind of par for the course for six shot, unfortunately. But still, a pretty fun figure to uh, mess with. Um, all the joints are nice and solid and sturdy. You know, everything just feels really good. So, quality wise, I definitely have no complaints. Uh, a nice, solid, fun figure. So, there you go. Now, I picked this up from TF Direct. I'll put a link to their site in the description down below so you can check that out. For all your other Transformers needs, you can also check out BigBadToyStore.com, also linked in the description down below. You can also check out my knockoff Transformers playlist for any reviews you may have missed, also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Mech Fans Toys 6 Ninja, and this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be geek, be proud, boom in your face. Nice six shot. And I just thought of something. I think there's one more alt mode that you can incorporate into your repertoire. No, yeah, what's that? A blender. A blender? What good is a blender in war? Are you kidding me? We could throw our enemies in and they'll be reduced to dust. It'll be great. Are you serious? Okay, the truth is our blender broke and I really want a milkshake. You're sick. No, it's a protein shake! I'm healthy!